Welcome back to our fourth and final day of day camp. Teacher Tomoko, I cannot believe that this is our last day of day camp. Well, no worries, Teacher Evelyn. We still have some fun crafts and activities on the full armor of God for our day camp families and our in-person day camp. We are having our uh, special social distant family day tomorrow. Can't wait. Having said all that, let's get back to our lesson today. Let's review what we have done so far. On the first day, we learned that we need God's full armor to protect our hearts and our minds from Satan's attack. On the second day, we talked about the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, and the shoes of the gospel, gospel of peace. And yesterday, we learned about the rest of the armor, which is the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. Now that we know how to use the armor of God, we can stand firm against the enemy. Well, today we are going to learn that the final and most important part of the armor, just like the traffic, police, a teacher, and our parents, they give us instructions to keep us safe from danger. God does the same with us. He will tell us what we need to do with this battle. God calls it a battle plan. Can anybody guess what the battle plan is? The battle plan is prayer. P-R-A-Y-E-R. Can you say that with me? Prayer. That's right. God has given us the full armor of God so that we can stand up and fight against the enemy. But at times, God wants us to stop, pause, and pray. And the only way we can do that is by praying. That's right. Boys and girls, do you know what prayer is? Prayer is talking to God, plain and simple. Oh, and here's Sam. Sam's going to read us the verse for today. In Philippians 4 verse 6. In Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for everything and all He has done. And that's why we need to stop and ask God what He wants us to do and pause to listen and obey his instructions. And finally, we need to pray with all our hearts. Oh, oh, excuse me, I have to pick up this call, children. Just give me a second. Hi, Teacher Evelyn. Hi, Teacher Tomoko. I thought it might help the boys and girls if we show them that talking to God is just like how we are talking to each other now. You're right. Talking to Jesus is so easy. It's like picking up the phone and talking to him. Good one, Teacher Tomoko. Thanks for calling. Bye. Bye, Teacher Evelyn. Well, boys and girls, now we know that prayer is just like talking on the phone to a friend or family. The Bible says in Ephesians 6, 18, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. When we pray, God hears our prayers. But how do we pray? Hmm, I wonder about that too. Do you know that, Teacher Evelyn? Yes, in fact, I do. We pray through the Holy Spirit. For example, when we don't know how to pray or what to say, we can always ask the Holy Spirit who is our helper. He will teach us how to pray. Did you know that Jesus also taught his disciples how to pray? You can find the Lord's Prayer in Matthew 6, verse 19 to 13, which we will be learning over the summer. So join us if you want to learn how to pray the Lord's Prayer. Well, that Bible also tells us when to pray. Ephesians 6, 18 tells us to pray all the time. That seems like a lot of work, Teacher Evelyn. 
And if we are praying all the time, does that mean we won't be able to eat, go outside and play, sleep or do anything else? No, 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 no. See, when the Bible tells us to pray all the time, this does not mean we stop doing things. It means we should always be thinking about God and talking to Him. We can pray for anything at any time. Can you think of some things that you would like to talk to God about today? I know that there is one thing I would like to pray for, and that is for you. My prayer is that you will always remember to put on the full armor of God every day so that you will not only be protected against the attack of the enemy, but you will have the power and the strength to win each battle with victory. Well, that's right. And when we pray, God hears our prayers. He will teach us how and what to do when we don't know how. But we must ask. Sam the Snail is here to, to read out these verses from the Bible. Matthew 7, 7 says, Keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. And that's the power of prayer. It is our secret weapon. And do you know we can use God's word to pray? If you have a favorite verse in the Bible, you can use that verse to pray. For example, one of my all-time favorite verse is in Psalms 56 verse 3. It says that when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. And when there are times I feel afraid, I'll always recall this verse from my memory and say it out loud. And then God gives me that peace that I need to not be afraid. Because fear does not come from God. It comes from the enemy, Satan, and he is very afraid when we talk to God. Because he knows that when we pray, God will give us the power to stand against his evil plans. And we will be victorious. Well, that's why it's so important to keep God's Word in our hearts. God's Word is powerful and the enemy knows that he is fighting a losing battle when we pray. So before we go, let's say our memory verse together with the actions. Are you ready? Get your secret weapons. One, two, three. Ephesians 6 verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. Well, let's do it again. Ready? Ephesians 6 verse 11. Put on the full armor of God that you may be stand against the schemes of the devil. Good job, boys and girls. Well, God has given us the full armor so that we can stand against the enemy. So whatever you feel down or sad, angry or mad, remember those feelings are not from God. And if someone made you feel that way, remember it is not them. It is the enemy using it to attack you. So what should you do? Put on the full armor of God and pray. Remember, there are times that we should stand up and fight the enemy. But there are also times we need to stop, pause and pray. Because the battle belongs to the Lord and He will give you victory over the enemy. Come, let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to teach us how to pray. Because when we pray, we have power over the enemy. God, help us to know when to stand up and fight the enemy, or when to stop, pause, and pray. Your word says that we will have victory because the battle belongs to you. God, we love you so much, and we thank you for what we have learned this week. We pray that we will remember to put on the full armor of God every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
That concludes our Bible time lesson on the full armor of God this week. We hope that you remember to put on the full armor of God daily. And thank you for joining our day camp. See you all next year. Bye. Bye.